today I am going to discuss about the basics of MATLAB. So you can see I am using MATLAB R 2015A version. So this is the interface for the MATLAB. This is how it looks like. You can see the current folder and the second folder is command window and third one is workspace and the fourth is command history. So we are going to use all these four basic windows and folders. So we'll see one by one. So we are going to start with the current folder. You can see current folder is the place from where you can access your files or saved files. Can you see this green tick mark? That means browse folder. Can you see browse folder? You just click on it and you can access your saved files from the documents. I have saved in documents. So click on MATLAB and just select folders. So you can see I have saved many many files so you can access anyone. Okay, so this is the purpose for the current folder. Okay, let's move on to the okay. Let's so the command window. Command window is a window where you can provide any input to the MATLAB. Okay. For example, if I write x is equal to 2. So you will get x is equal to 2. Okay. And can you see the workspace? So whatever the variable you are assigning in the command window, you will get reflected in the workspace also. Okay. And the command history is the is the place where your each and every command is getting saved. Okay. Okay. If I write x is equal to 5. Now, can you see the value of x is now changed with 5. Now, let me do it again x is equal to 8. Now, can you see the value of x is getting changed again and again. So, this workspace is taking the current value of x. Okay. Now, let me write some other variable. Let us say w. w is equal to 9. So, this is a different variable with different name w. Now, the w it has a value of 9. So, value is 9. So, can you see this triangle mark? This is just to change the sequence. If I click on it, so this will be replaced, uh, the x will be replaced with the w and w will be replaced with the x. Let me do it again. Just click on it. Can you see the variables? sequence has been changed. Now, can you see in the command history also? So, each and every variable is also getting saved in the command history. Okay. Okay. Just move on to the command window. Let us say x x plus w and then press enter you will get 17. So, when you add value of x and value of w 8 plus 9. So, you will definitely get 17. So, here you can see a new variable that is answer a n s. So, this is a third variable. So, that is why this is getting saved in the workspace. Can you see answer? The value is 17. Okay. Now, 
if I take new variable x uh, c is equal to 5 and if I add x plus c. So, the so now the very uh, the value is 13 and uh, the variable answer and the value of the answer is now 13. So, that was the 17 now it is 13. So, workspace is taking answer is taking the current value. Okay. So, this is all for this video. Thank you so much.